Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farming Simulator 19. This is Rustic Acres by Kaz64. It's 179.75 megabytes to download. And in the mod hub, the description is Welcome to Rustic Acres. Here you will find 47 small to medium fields that's worker friendly that stretch across the landscape. The map has contracts on all 47 fields. Also, get a decent starting fleet and a few fields to get you started. Two grass fields have trees in them and need to be cleared first. Seasons ready and custom precision farming ready. An easy place to start farming on several average fields. It has placeable areas spread over map for you and is good for multiplayer. This is a fictional map inspired by the way I like to play maps. There are two, it says farge but I think it's meant to say large. There are two large forests that's been broken into three sections on each one. Feel free to offer any suggestions as these will be used for improvements on any future updates. Cheers. So, we are here at our main farm. I'm on new farmer mode. So if we have a look on the map, we're pretty much bang in the middle of the map. That is the map quite colourful and bright um, in new farmer mode we start off with obviously your farm area and these areas where your uh, animal pens are and we own fields one two and three if you were to come on here on the other modes say if you wanted to buy any of these areas this farm area is going to cost you 185,000 and then the animal pen areas are all individual so the horse one there is 29,000 that one's 82 that one's 29 that one's 50 field one's 101,000 field two's 87 and field three is 231 field prices vary they are a little bit steep some of them so 17 660 uh, 677 sorry 44 is 264 39 is quite big that's oh, just over 1 million 38 523 these are your forestry areas um, although it says split into three that actually comes with um, two sections there so that's just shy of three million in the middle sections 1.4 million then there's a little forestry area up there five seven eight that one's three seven six that is it in terms of forestry area there is a few placeable areas like it says in the description dotted around some we will come across so you've got this one there for 202,000 uh, that one's 180 there's another one just there for 112 and one at the top there for 114 there's a BGA on here which you don't start off with you don't own it so but to buy it is 169,598 quite a few sell points which again were come across in a second so yeah like I said this is our main farm we've got our farmhouse there which is just it's all standard in-game stuff that we start off with new farmer mode so there's your sleep trigger so you've got your standard in-game farmhouse all your equipment standard in game silos animal pens you've got a large um, version of every animal pen in the game available to you 
So let's quickly look at the equipment while we're sort of talking about it. And before we go into that, actually, on new farmer mode, you start off at 610 slots out of 12.99. Um, if you sell everything, though, you can get that down to 420 slots, which is quite low. If you come on to here on the other two modes, farm manager and start from scratch, you start off with nothing, no fields, no equipment, nothing, no animal pens, and the slot count is 420 slots. There's no modded in equipment or any required mods, no custom crops. So in new farm mode, we start off with a Fent Favre 515. A Fiat 1300 DT, the Bison Super Harvester, a Farm Tech TDK 1600 trailer, your header for your Bison Harvester, a corn header for your Harvester, we've got a small Agramash plough, a small um, cultivator, we've got a small seeder, uh, a planter, a small planter, a fertilizer spreader, a side mower, a tedder, a small wind rower, a baler, um, a Joskin Aqua Trans for your water, a front loader, a bucket attachment, pallet forks, bell spikes, a weight, and then we're into our animal pens. So like I said, it's a standard in-game large version. So you've got your pig enclosure, which will hold 300. Your large cow pasture, that's 200. Your large sheep pasture, that's 250. And your large horse paddock, 16 horses. You've got a large chicken coop, which holds 400 chickens. And you've got a standard small grain silo. It's not a multi-fruit one. It just does your standard crops. I'll come back to that in a second. We've got an Easy Shed 3. Another Easy set Shed 3. That's easy for me to say. Easy Shed 1. And another Easy Shed 1. And our farmhouse. Now, coming back to the silo. We do start off with some crops in it. But what caught my eye is it's worth 405000 to sell. And if you come out of there and go into the silos, there's your standard one. That's only 110000 to buy. So, again, it holds exactly the same amount, 100,000 litres. So why that's so much to sell, you might as well sell that, surely. Whether you sell it with the crops in or go and sell them elsewhere, probably go and sell them for the best prices and then flog that quick before it drops in price. So that is our starting equipment. And then this is our farmyard. So we've got our farmhouse there. There's your chicken coop. We've got your two Easy Shed 3s. What I quite like is they've been joined together through the middle. And there's your Easy Shed 1s over there joined together as well, end to end. But we've got traffic on here. It's all sort of dirt roads mostly. So just be careful because there is cars about. And then just through here we've got all our animal pens. Um dotted around in this area like so so you've got your pigs there that is your sheep I believe that's your cow pen over there and then the horses are just further down that back in there so if we whiz up to the farm without getting run over jump the fence so it's pretty open farmyard area there's your silo obviously you tip in and your outpipe there we've got the American flag flying high 
and then there's, there's all your equipment stored in under there your easy sheds now if you do sell everything all of this clear this area or if you come on here on the other two modes I did a little clip earlier of what this area looks like totally bare so I'll just show you that quick now So that is what that looks like. Quite a nice open area and where your animal pens were, that's quite a big area. So if we jump in the fence, we'll drop off the weight. And we'll drop off that. And we'll go for a little tour round. Like I say, just be careful because you might just think this is a dirt track, but it is actually a road. So this is field number four. This is one of the um, two grass fields that they say about the trees being needed to clear. And the other one is field 14, I believe. But we're going to come down out of the farm house. Um, I'll show you this placeable area quick and then we'll go down to the first sale point which is Bell Sales. It's not a completely flat map, there's some which you'll see some sort of curved areas. I've already missed my turning. most of the fields have got all these little tracks with there's quite a lot of um, room to maneuver about leading up to them so this is the first placeable area this is kind of like a dirt texture one the other, I think all the others are like a concrete tarmac texture right so if we carry on down and take a right just over there is our first sail point. Feels quite a open map though, it's it's not like closed in, you don't feel claustrophobic. So there's your first sail point, which is bow sails. And there you go, it's at the top and obviously it's going to take all your bales, so your silage, grass, hay, straw, like so. We've got quite a few sale points on here and there's quite a few main sale points that take all your standard crops with a few extras, which we will cover in a second. Now we'll drop straight down here and we'll visit the dairy. Should be a nice chilled out map tour this one because with it being mostly um, in-game things like the animal pens and the equipment and it's kind of got like a sort of clockwise route to it round which is quite handy for us YouTubers. So there's your other sale point, that is dairy, which I believe is just milk and eggs, yeah, which would make sense. Then we'll come out of there, we'll go to Old Grain Mill, which I believe is the main sale point. What I like as well is, is where most of them I think all of them actually the main sale points they do take all your standard crops but some take 
something else whereas the other one doesn't and then the other one takes that and the other one doesn't if that makes sense so you've got plenty of options open to you so this is old grain mill so it's just up in here as you tip in and sail point like so we'll have a quick look old grain mill there like I say does all your standard crops you can see all the other ones there the main sale points do the same this will also do potato sugar beet cotton sugar cane and that is it but just looking at that sort of list there you can see some don't do cotton some do eggs so quite handy then we'll scoot along again probably overtaking some traffic so yeah you can already see there's quite a nice slope to it it's not flat the roads are quite wide and even all the tracks leading off like this wide enough and considering you, you you know you start off you've only got pretty small equipment they give you because the fields aren't massive they're pretty average size medium size so is your cell point this is sorry the biomass heating plant this is going to be for your timber for your lumber so there's your trigger and your little cell point there there's also a sawmill on here which takes um, lumber timber and uh, wood chips so technically you've got two places to sell your wood there so here's another placeable area look nice and flat open we've got a nice little um, stretch of water there running along this side of the map which is quite cool with a little beach area quite like that that's quite nice so yeah just in here I think this is the restaurant there you go around the back there's your sail point so we're at the restaurant and that is going to take all your standard again potato sugar beet sugar cane that will take eggs and milk as well pretty handy sell point so so far all we've done is come out of our farm down i showed you that area bell cells dairy straight across see what i mean nice and easy I like it when the maps are like this it makes it a lot easier <laughs> that's that makes me sound lazy but I'm not sometimes you got nice houses here overlooking the water not sure you probably buy one of them I expect chuck a doormat down so you have a sail point just up in here is going to be old man's mill which again is another main sale point and they also do potato sugar beet cotton sugar cane and that is it for that one i'm going to carry on up this stretch here to the gas station fuel station petrol station whatever you want to call it So yeah, I like this little harbour sort of area. Got a pier there. People walking about, look, on the beach. Very nice indeed. And then just up here, we've got our little fuel station. Just in there where we can fill up. 
just an area out the back here but you can't go in there you can't use that and then just out here across the road we have got our shop which is a class dealership so just there is your shop menu oh I ended up inside then I didn't want to do that so yeah you can go inside if you wish just over here we've got our um customized repair workshop trigger and I'll tell you what I didn't test is where the reset point is I hope it's not going to be on the main farm now because if that is that's going to mess my tour up no it's there so your reset points there and I'm assuming if you buy or lease anything it's going to appear at that same point I forgot to test that that's one of the things I normally do straight away right if we go left here we've got the BGA up here it's quite a nice colourful map thought it was colourful just on the um, PDA but it's actually very colourful when you're actually out here so the BGA is up on a sort of raised level as you can see we're going up a gentle slope to get up to that same level so we're swinging here got your digester just there the digestate will come out there and then we've got two bunker silos like so so we did a cross here up the restaurant old man's mill fuel station shop come down we're at the BGA if we were to carry on across that road would end up back at our farm but we are going to I'll swing out of here and I'll cut through this way to Eastern Mill. They're quite big bunker silos those as well so you've got plenty of room on most of the fields as well to extend them look that field ends there you could clear some of these trees right left again I think and again look look how far away that field is from this edge easily extend that and like it says in the uh, description in the mod hub um, about being worker friendly the fields are all pretty much sort of square they've got the odd like 27 there on the mini map it's got the odd little bit um, sticking out but it's still all square so they should be able to cope reasonably well with them I would have thought but we never get our hopes up too much with the workers do we so again another cell point just up the ramp tip into there this is Eastern Mill another main cell point does your standard crops plus potato sugar beet cotton sugar cane and that is probably it yep and then we'll come out of there we'll come up to rustic port 
for another sail point. Nice little beach up there, look. There's another placeable area there on the right. Again, nice and flat, nice and big. Should have no trouble putting any placeables down on there. So this one again is drive up the ramp, tip into there. Rustic port towards the bottom another main sail point does potato sugar beet cotton sugar cane and oh and straw as well there you go look mixing it up a bit plenty of options So along here, I mean I think most of the fields are a pretty good size, 17 is quite a large one look, a bit of corn growing in there. I do apologise as well if I sound a bit um, nasally, but I don't know if I've got a cold coming or some dust at work's triggered me off, but I definitely don't think it's hay fever, surely it's too early for that. Um, so here we are, we came out of Rustic Port straight across field 17 and we're at a spinnery which is obviously going to do cotton and wool like so the only thing I noticed about the spinnery is there's no hazard marks to show you where to go but I'm sure that won't be a problem so from there we'll come out and I think the sawmills raised up again a little bit like the BGA so we'll probably come up through this track I think that is uh, there's field 14 like I said earlier about um, the two grass fields that are got trees in it so there you can see bottom right it says grass but it's got all these trees in it so there's a bit of forestry for you to do there if you so wish and there you can see that it um, raises up there the track goes up and winds round which is quite nice and that is where our sawmill is So at least it's got a bit of character to it. Right old windy road this, isn't it? Quite a nice view there over the rest of the map. I like that. Nice touch. So your sawmill, Beaver Brothers. Just there is your sell point for your timber or your lumber. And then I believe the wood chips, yeah, just there with your little hazard trigger mark there. So, sawmill, what we want to do is get back on this track because I think that goes across along to the ranch. So if we whiz back out and round. It's quite a big area, this sawmill, with all different sort of buildings to make it look like a proper place. Yeah. 
there's some of your forestry area there on the left. Quite a big wide sort of track there, I don't know what that's about. Nice big field to our right. Again more forestry there to the left. And then this is the ranch which is quite quite a nice little place as well. So we've got a little sort of training area, riding area for the horses. And then that's our sail point just there. Ranch, which is there, another main sail point. Also does potato, sugar beet, sugar cane, and this will take eggs and milk as well. Nothing else, just those, but that's pretty good. And then we'll come down there across and we'll go to Western Grains. Again, all nice open areas, look. That's quite a big field, that one. Another big one there. Again, plenty of scope to extend the fields there. Um, did I want to take that turn in? Yeah, thought I did. Just this sort of side of the map left to do and that's it. There you go, it's another one where you go up into the ramp, just there. Western Grains. Down the bottom there. And you see what I mean, that doesn't do oats there, but it does everything else. And it will also do potato, sugar beet, sugar cane. And that is it. And then we'll come down and we'll look at manure sales and animal dealer. And then I suspect we'll just have a quick look down here at the forestry, other forestry area. So here we go on the left, this is manure sales, I believe this takes manure and slurry, there you are, let's go up to it, manure sales, yeah manure and slurry, and then we're back out of here and to the animal dealer which is pretty much next door just in there and that little sort of concrete tarmac area that's your trigger for your animal pens if you own any so that is all that area will come down I'll tell you what we'll do we'll be a little bit naughty Hang on, you can go in there, look. That's quite cool. I've got nothing going on though, but... We'll cut across this little bit of grass just to show you this other uh, placeable area. That's quite big, this one. Quite huge. And then just out here and to the left is your other bit of forestry area which is your main sort of forestry area I would say it's the biggest one so 
again, look at the slope and the dip in this road here. Quite cool how they've done it. So yeah, that's all your forestry over there. Like so. And I think we've covered everything. It did say in the uh, description anyway that I read out that there is contracts available as you can see and it said on all 47 fields so that's quite cool and that is it that is Rustic Acres by Kaz64 I hope you've all enjoyed the video if you have please give us a like and if you don't subscribe yet then please do and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.